And welcome everybody on YouTube and everybody here in chat for our next deck. Let's play Orzhov Knights again. This is certainly a fun deck to play. I'm making a couple small changes. Um, deciding to take out the Ariels in this deck for two more Valiant Knights. So we're playing the full four Valiant Knights. I like this card quite a bit. Um, pumping up our Knights and uh, having the opportunity to give them double strike. It's a, it's a huge threat. Um, so we're going to go with a full four Valiant Knight in here. And um, other changes. I took out the cast down in the sideboard for a Golden Demise for token strategies uh, that go really wide. Um, there sometimes maybe we'll ascend and our creatures won't even get minus two, minus two, which would be nice. Um, a suggestion here is like maybe um, playing a couple banners. And I think... I. I don't know about banners over... That's Vanquisher's Banner, that is. Vanquisher's Banner. I don't know if I want it over... Like, you know, it'd have to go in somewhere in the Valiant Knight Vona slot. There. That's something to think about. We're not going to put it in for this league, but that's something to kind of be thinking about here is if Vanquisher's Banner would be another good addition to the deck. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the games. What we're doing is we're going to just be... Being aggressive, playing two drops and three drops, and then a Johnny, and, and finish the games off with a Johnny. So, let's see, see if it works. Wars of Knights. Oh yeah, certainly need four Johnny for this deck. This is this isn't a Johnny deck. Our our uh, deck is much much better when we have a Johnny than when we don't have a Johnny. Our, our deck's not really power enough, powerful enough to compete without a Johnny. So, we're keeping him. And keeping this hand. We got a Johnny. Let's keep it. Selesnia Guildgate. Man, we're going to just play tokens right away. I mean, I don't want to play against tokens. We do have the Golden Demise for it, but I don't want to play against tokens. It's not that good of a matchup for us. Hmm. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's Selesnia Knights. We're going to be playing Orzov Knights for Selesnia Knights. Alright, I'm getting the Grixis Discard YouTube video all up and ready to go right now. That's what I'm currently doing. Hmm. There we go. Steel Leaf Champion. That thing's big. Ariel wasn't performing too well, honestly. The the second ability of like destroying things was so difficult to to pull off. By the way, this is a knight, so yeah, it looks like we're playing Selesnia Knights. Um, you need so many creatures. I just I never really actually killed anything with Ariel and it, is it could make some knights, but like every game that I, I had where I was making trouble. knights with it, I didn't win. And so we're just gonna kinda remove it from more valiant knights. Yeah, we got knights versus knights. Like this is gonna be a good knight. Yeah, the M19 crack a pack we got. Um, we cracked open Mystic Archaeologist. The second Mystic Archaeologist we'd open today. Mm 
And so we will have the mana. We can activate this next turn, give give these things double strike. It's attacking for a lot of damage. 4-4 four, four double strikers. With Night of Grace there. Oh, Valiant Knight for the op opponent. Nice. All right, well, I want to cast down theirs. Our kinship okay. ensures our victory. We got there. Our knights were better than their knights for that game. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. We got the knight. Knight battles. Let's bring in some angels and some profane processions. And uh, do we cut a Danto Vanguard in the Night Mirror? This is pretty awesome. I could I could see them playing a bunch of angels and stuff too, which would be a problem. No Ariel. I I used to play two Valiant Knight, two Ariel. I think Valiant Knight's better, and so moved it up to four Valiant Knight. I'm thinking of just cutting the four Danto Vanguards on the draw here. Yeah. Grixis discard deck isn't updated on Stream Decker. No, not, not since I just made those two couple changes. Um... Or that one change. I just made the one change of Search for Scanta for the other duress. Um, I think I should... You know, so, like, do I keep this, this deck list with the three duress on here? Because then that's what... Like, that's the... I guess I'll, I'll just have to... I just should probably just make a new deck list for it. Because... That's the deck that I would like to have for, like, whenever people have the YouTube video and they click over. You know, I want them to have the correct deck list that I'm using. So I could just paste it, a new deck list that's correct for... Grixis discard. I'll I'll wait till I play the deck again for that. Yeah. yeah, I know there were three duresses in the list. I I cut one of the duresses for a search for his Kanta after the league, not during the league. I played the league like that. Um but I was saying after the league, what I would do for the next time I play it is cut the duress for cut the third duress for a search for his Kanta. No, I, I don't have a mono blue deck. I I myself have never played mono blue uh, myself. So the, I think that's the only deck in standard I have not played. I think next turn I'm going to play Profane Procession. Nope, looks like I'm going to play Knight of Grace. And you have another blocker. That's a good draw. Okay, so we get to potentially double spell. You have a mono blue artifact deck? How's that? Is it, is it pretty sweet? I really like how my opponent's playing um, Selesnya Knights, but I really don't like how my opponent is manually tapping. Um. I 
Yeah, it's a grindy deck. An Azorius artifact deck built around Traxos. Dude, that sounds sweet, too. Oh, hey, Olans, thanks for the comment about my tie. I'm glad you're liking the tie. Ooh, Benelish Marshall. Um, do I want to take five or do I want to just chump with this Midnight Reaper? I think I may just chump with this Midnight Reaper. I'll just draw another card. Not take, you know, so taking, taking one instead of five and drawing a card. I like that. Oh, I thought they were playing Conclave Tribunal in the Profane Procession. I was about to be sad. Man, knights are cool. So many cool knights. Our opponent is playing Steel Leaf Champion and Benelich Marshal. Ah. Yeah. Our knights were a little cooler, though. All right, one to know. We won the nightmare. Yeah, they were pretty dead. Unless they they would have had to have some cool things, but profane profane procession and um that card we just played and Vona. It's gonna really really give my opponent a tough time. <laughs> Knights get the glory, soldiers do the work. That's true. That was an all-night party. <laughs> all-night party. That matchup was a nightmare. <laughs> oh, the puns keep coming. Yeah, we're having a better night than our opponent is. Man, if we get this white mana source and we get to curve Knight of Malice into History Banali into Valiant Knight, looks like that's what we're doing. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Our opponent shocked in for an opt. They don't even know anything about our deck. They probably think we're like Esper Control. We do have the wrong knight. We need the white knight here to give it pro black. Hey, we got a donation. What do we got? Stream Labs, what's our donation? Press Polk with the $30 donation. You haven't played Mono Blue, huh? Let's change that. I'd love to see how you, you would build Mono Blue Tempo. So play it in, for me the fourth slot sometime. All right, fourth slot tomorrow work. Press Polk. I get some hype. We're going to have to use some wild cards on it, uh, but I don't mind. Sounds great. All right, fourth, fourth slot tomorrow. Mono blue tempo. Let's try it out. That's gonna be a new one. Thanks, press, press bulk. All right, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to build a, a sweet mono blue tempo deck. Should I use the two wild cards to make Valiant Knights for this deck? Um, maybe not. I mean, we're so close to the next set. It's kind of, I don't really want to recommend people use wild cards yet, because the you know, the next set, you know, every, things are going to change and stuff like that, so. Um, so I don't quite want to recommend it. Hmm. I'm going to lead with Midnight Reaper. Which I guess means I'm just going to attack here. I'd rather Midnight Reaper die than Valiant Knight die. 
I guess Midnight Reaper makes me worse to Ritual of Soot. Does it? Kind of does. Hmm. Now I, now I regret not playing Valiant Knight, now that I think of Ritual of Soot. Oh, I guess I decided to play some of, some of the other decks, Mike. We'll get we'll get back to that deck. But I decided to play some other decks. Fiery Cannonade. All right, so they're gonna have that either way. Very patient from the opponent. I'm sure patient. Yeah, that's true. I think basically the rare that I need is Tempest Gin. I think that's what I have to use. I have to use wild cards on Tempest Gins. I think I only have two Tempest Gins, I believe. I think I have the rest. Uh, War Kite Marauder, I mean, I may only have like one or two. I mean, I think you only need a couple. I do like War Kite Marauder a lot. Yuck. Wow. Our opponent certainly had a, a good hand. The fiery cannonade was a killer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this. I wanna get this in play. Do not fear, my friend. There's more work to do. They're going to be able to flip their treasure map on upkeep. I think I just discard Valiant Knight. So I can potentially double spell with Knight of Malice Valiant Knight the, the next turn. If I discard Knight of Malice, I am just saying I'm going to... Actually, no, I'll get rid of Nine of Malice. So I did not upkeep Scry. Mirari Conjecture. That gets back Cannonade. I'm glad I discarded Nine of Malice. They want to cast that now. It's going to take their treasures. They have to cast it in response to this Valiant Knight. No, they let it let it go. Look how far you have come. Um. About to get Coil back. They're going to put Valiant Knight into play. I'm trying to decide if I want to play this Forsaken Sanctuary, and I can't really see a reason not to. I mean, I guess Disinformation Campaign would be the reason not to. See what they do here. Of course, Coil takes out Knight of Malice, but if they want, they could Coil the Valiant Knight and then cast Fiery Cannonade. Ugh! Should have kept the Forsaken Sanctuary! Dang it. They can, they can flip Nickel Bolas, too. Because of the treasures. Nah, I like Sanctuary much more than a for that much more than Evolving Wilds. 
adding like they both come to play tapped, but adding both colors of mana is is critical when you have cards like History Banali and Brass's Contempt and a Johnny in your deck. Certainly like for Forsaken Sanctuary, much, much more than Evolving Wilds. Ugh. Man, I wish I would not have played the Forsaken Sanctuary though. Had another Valiant Knight here. So they're gonna chump with Valiant Knight. Gonna give this double strike. Hmm. Wow. I mean, I could minus and get back nine of malice, but it dies to the, their fiery cannonade. I guess I'm going to take up. Deliver us to victory. Dang. Ah, thanks, Gothenborn. Yeah, if you didn't know, if you have an Amazon Prime account, link it to your Twitch account, and you can sub to any channel once per month. And use yours on Todd earlier. Thanks. Yeah, you can use it anywhere. But what know you now, of Cannon dragons? only deals two damage to everything. Um, they can cast it before that, the Mavar conjecture, and just kill my thing and, and not kill their Valiant Knight. Man, if I just didn't, if I did not discard the Forsaken Sanctuary, that would have been a lot better for me. Um, yeah, I, I basically first started playing Magic in Onslaught, or not Onslaught, sorry, in World Wake. I will not oh, why is it Onslaught? Down. In World Wake, that's what I... Um, so I kind of go with, I played a little bit whenever I was a kid, uh, but not really too much there. That doesn't really count. Man, that was pretty great from the opponent. A fiery cannonade main deck really got us. Hmm. All right, so procession, cast down coming on out. Procession's great against against these decks, taking like Niv Mizzet, Nickel Bola, stuff like that. Certainly like Duress as well. Um, I think I'm gonna take Vona out. It's not good against Lava Coil. Neither is Valiant Knight too much either. I think I wanna keep some contempts in. Cut two of those and cut two. I'm going to cut three Nine of Malice. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of three Nine of Malice. Mm. No, we're going down. There we go. Yeah, Nine of Malice just being pro-white doesn't really do too much. It's basically just a, a two-mana 2-2 two -two in this matchup. But, yeah, go ahead, Gopo. But, uh, so I played a little bit when I was a kid, but it was really like World Wake whenever I... Uh, kind of got back into it um a couple of my friends played it got me into it then i started playing magic online a lot and i was a high school teacher that uh didn't really live around where my friends lived my friends lived about 45 minutes away and so a lot of like the school nights so i'd see them on the weekends and stuff but school nights i uh, didn't really have much else to do and so i just played magic online it was my favorite game to play and so i used to play lots of limited uh, for the most part, I didn't really play constructed as much because you know just kind of starting is more fun playing limited. Um, but then of course that's obviously changed in the last 
three, three-ish years. Playing lots of constructed now. Limited is drafting and sealed, where you only have access to the, the cards that, that you open up. Constructed is where you build your own deck and you play your own deck against your opponent's deck. Dawnbringer isn't too good in this matchup. It's pretty slow uh, at, uh, five, at five mana. You should be and proud. Our opponent can you my strength. answer with a removal spell without too much difficulty for a five mana spell. Yourself, what I see in you. It's possible our opponent has cannonade. No, I think they would have cannonade and copied cannonade if they did. Our deck is an aggro deck. Our opponent's deck is a control deck. Pretty surprised they didn't just hit a Johnny for one. It's kind of t saying they maybe have like contempt, but we gotta deal with these knights on the battlefield first. So they likely just drew into that um, ritual of sit, which is why they said nice there. Be strong. We're gonna get this thing ultimated. Lash out! I brought some friends before they they get to ping uh, something, so they don't get to just ping a Johnny. Yeah, I kind of missed the the chat function that MTGO had. It, honestly, I liked it. Yeah, I had a lot of nice opponents. Um, on MTG, on MTGO, talk about just you know like whatever. Okay. This is going to be the hard one. Winning a game on the draw. Let's see if we can do it. Our opponent's hand wasn't very good there. That duress taking whatever we took certainly slowed them down a bunch. This is very good. Don't really have time for our duress here. Ooh, now we do. Now we got Duress into a Johnny, into Midnight Reaper, or sorry, Duress into a Danto, into Midnight Reaper, into a Johnny. Um, Soot or Rao? I think I want to take Rao. Soot can kill like the Midnight Reaper right now. Uh, kind of whatever. Banner could be good for the Grixis matchup, sideboard. Yep, yeah, potentially. I think, I think I like Bloodfast more, kind of in general there. Ugh. Much, would have much preferred. Would have much preferred, um, them using the ritual set there. You do not have to fight. You are capable of more. Go, Danto Vanguard, go. Go, Vanguard, go. 
Yeah, I'm glad I took Rao. That's it. Opponent can't handle the Vanguard at a Johnny combo. And we are 2-0. and oh. Angel's, Angel of Grace is a sweet angel. Flash is really good. Yeah, that's a good card. Would a Johnny be too powerful if you could put both counters on the same creature? It'd definitely be better, you know, put it distributed as you want among up to two target creatures. It'd certainly be a lot better. Um, too powerful, though? I don't know about too powerful. Ooh, we got 25 lands. Oh, can we hit some land drops? Man, this is the perfect curve. We're not getting there. I'm leaning with Knight of Malice because it will get pumped uh, by playing a History Banalia. Where Knight of Grace would not get pumped by a History Banalia. Oh. Well, now I wish I would have played Knight of Grace. No. Alright, well, I know they're black. So, want to play the pro black? Do you like the new Orzhov cards that have been revealed? Um, I've been a little disappointed with some of them. Like, Kaya... I was disappointed with Kaya, for sure. Um, and I, and the, the, the Orzhov Angel. I don't think that card's that great either. So, pretty disappointed with the, the Mythic Angel and with Kaya. Um, I think they're both cool cards. Like, I, you know, Black White Angels are sweet, and Kaya is sweet. Like, I really like them, but I wish they were a little better. Um, so I, I like the cards, but at the same time, a little disappointed in them. Good news is our opponent doesn't have anything to do right now. There's main deck and dead weights and ritual sets just crushing us. Deck, why are you like this? There's a new Graveyard Hate Artifact spoiler. Seems like there's already been a lot of Graveyard Hate in the set. I'd like Graveyard Hate more if it actually if it actually did something against Crackling Drake. If Crackling Drake has to count Exile too. Crackling Drake counting Exile is messed up. All right, come on, land. Let's go, land a Johnny. Land a Johnny. No. Now we're gonna just draw in all those. We're gonna draw into all those lands that we didn't have earlier. And now we don't have any spells left for him. Can our opponent possibly beat a history banalia though? Maybe they can't. Possible they cannot be history banalia. No, I didn't want to actually draw into all these lands. I was saying that sarcastically, deck. Not seriously. Yeah. Hey, Lance. Nice of you to join us now. A little late. A 
Restaurant's already closed. So they can get like Midnight Reaper or one of the two drop knights. I mean, I guess they could get a Johnny. Johnny doesn't really do anything. They don't have anything over here. I could see this going a whole lot like the first game that we played. Or the, or, sorry, the last match that we played of playing we against um, together. playing against Grixis, where we lost the first game and then put in duresses and one games two and three. See in yourself. I certainly see that happening I here. Yeah, you have to change the art every time you make a deck. If, like, there's a certain specific art that you like. You'd have to change it to it every single time. You can't just set the art to be something. Our opponent's playing multiple fungal infections, multiple dead weights. They really stopped... They really did not like dying to a Dante Vanguard. Is what it looks like there. Just cut contempt also. Didn't see any creatures from them. They may have like no creatures. Play one contempt. I guess Dawnbringer does kind of get around a lot of their removal. Oh, yeah, we want Bloodfast. I thought there was something else I was missing. I was just missing the Bloodfast. Yeah, we absolutely want Bloodfast. Thanks. Um, yeah. All right. I'm not playing any interaction besides Profane Procession. That's a permanent. It can stay out there. I'm not going to play any Contempts where they just wait until they thought Erasure or Disinformation Campaign might Contempt away and then play their threat. All right, we got three lands. Three lands, two histories. It's not a good draw. Mm, no thought erasure. That's different. They kept kept one card for the island. The graveyard. Mm -hmm. Guessing on the time. Love to hit the land drop and go with the Johnny next turn. That's what that'd be the best thing for me. Um, any tips for an aspiring 17-year-old looking to go pro? Uh, I mean, going pro could mean different things. Um, but the, the best thing to do probably is to, uh, go to, go to a bunch of tournaments and get your name, uh, see, that's so expensive, going to a lot of tournaments and getting your... Uh, name known in tournaments. It's so expensive, though. I wouldn't recommend that for a 17-year-old. I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, see when you do that, I mean, 
That means you have to just go to lots of Grand Prix and Pro Tours. This thing, it's expensive. You have to go to all that. Who would I recommend it for? Um, somebody that has tons and tons of money and a lot of free time. Yeah, it's it's better to to get another job and play magic for a hobby for sure. People are saying go to school and stuff. Um Paul Pierce? No, okay. The other option is I am proud. Back on your feet. Stream, you know, and kinda you know, do like the rank stuff and try to be like really high a really high ranked mythic player and stream all the time. And you can get well known that way. That's another that's another avenue. Um, you know, there's certain, certainly a lot of streamers, of course, right now, but that's another avenue. Um, and it's probably better long term than going to lots of tournaments and for Grand Prix and Pro Tours, because um, seems like online is is that. But I guess, okay, so yeah, all right, cool. School's your highest priority. So if you're gonna be you know, going to school and also wanting to go to tournaments and everything, the best thing to do is to, to find a, a group of friends that are that you can travel with, because you need to reduce travel costs. So you, you, need, you need some people to travel with and, and also share cards. I think sharing cards, you know, people you trust, um, because it's expensive trying to have a collection of like Be strong. all the stuff in standard and modern, you know, if you need if you want to like switch decks throughout different weeks and everything. So getting some people to travel with and people to share cards, that's certainly a, a big priority. And then of course those are people that you can practice with and play test with and, and everything like that and bounce ideas off of. It's certainly really good to have sounding boards talking through deck ideas and sideboard ideas and everything like that. Those were none of the things I did, but I'm saying those are those would be very good things that I'd recommend doing. I just spent too much money and and had all the cards myself and traveled alone and that kind of stuff. But Look how far you have come. I would not recommend doing what I did. <laughs> They're all about these fungal infections. Okay, so there's a there's a creature, a Doom Whisperer. We need one more land drop and then we can exile it with Profane Procession. If we don't hit the land drop, it's slightly annoying. Our creatures are big enough to, to tussle with it, though, for this turn. And, yeah, let's just get on in there. Yeah, I enjoy teaching high school a lot. I will lend you yeah. my strength. This is a good job. I like, I like streaming magic a lot more. Um, so I like what I'm doing now more, but I did like teaching high school. RNA is not gonna have 5k gold draft the whole month. Ugh. Nah, I didn't really play magic against my students. There was one student that liked magic, um, like one year that I played a couple of times against him. That was it. Cool. That's a good. That's a good job, Orion's constellation. You're doing well. Why not minus? So if I minus, I get back a 9 of Malice. Uh, the tick up allowed this thing to be a 6-5, so I got to attack with it, but also... If I didn't tick up, this was going to be a 5-4, and so I couldn't ha really attack a 5-4 into a 6-6. Six, six. I'd only attack with one creature that they would be able to, to jump block. I wanted to be able to attack with both creatures. Alright, so what did our opponent find? 
What they surveil and find? What they keep? Not good enough. All right, we're going to game three. So, is there anybody that, that wants to uh, check out Orion's Constellations Vintage Draft and give give him some advice there? Um, anything else we are changing? So they do have Doom Whisperer. It's not surprising. I feel like on the draw, I'm going to be slower and be good to have a contempt potentially. I just have Vona also. Vona plus Profane Procession, both of those can answer a Doom Whisperer. I'll have a Contempt over a Valiant Knight. Mm. Nah. I like attacking. Hawkeye, okay, what are you doing back there? What are you doing back there? You're just chilling? Hawkeye's just chilling. Okay, you wanna come up here? Yeah, you can come on up here. I put my little kiwi dish away. Yeah. Alright, I'm leading with Knight of Grace. Picking up. I dreamed of going pro, and then I O3 to PPTQ and realized I'm not too good at magic. Aw. So lead with Knight of Grace because they can't really dead weight in Knight of Grace. It's pro black. And then I'm going to duress next turn and go with Vanguard. I'm giving them a little bit more time to find, you know, like to get some other cards in their hand. I want to see if they have like ways to deal with this Vanguard. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye was meowing there. Alright, well. Hope they don't have the fungal infection. Can't take it now. We still got to trade a, a duress for a counterspell. Not bad. That's a way to protect the vanguard. <laughs> oh, I didn't say. Hello, Hawkeye. There we go. Uh, move the camera down just a little bit. Oh, moved it down a lot. Yeah, sure, whatever, main. Done, 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 done. As long as they're. I understand you're in As long as they would like my host as well. Victory. If you had to be a land in magic, which land would you be? I'd be Ghost Quarter. Definitely Ghost Quarter. That's the land I have played so much. Definitely Ghost Quarter. That's the land I made popular in modern. Nice! That's awesome, Zerf. Heck yeah. You are capable of more than you assume. All right, we're we're trying to ultimate this Ajani here. All right, campaign gets our planes. This information cam planes. No, you didn't like that one, Hawkeye. No. Sorry. They're digging. Is there anything you would change about MTG or MTGA? Oh, not really MTG. Definitely Arena. Um, the deck layout screen is horrible on Arena. Strength is born of struggle. Um, 
That's one that I certainly remember. Uh, that comes to mind immediately. There's a few other things. I don't like how small these things are. I would change this. Yeah, Dante with the Johnny is great. It really is. We are 3 0. <coughs> yeah, go ahead, Orion. Um, I feel like there's, I'm sure there's a couple other things I've thought of before that I'd like to be changed, but I can't think of it right now off the top of my mind. That's certainly the <clears throat> certainly like the biggest thing is like the, the deck building screen. Horrendous. Like you know, like so you can like like taking pictures of the deck lists and sending them like how like how they look and everything, it's it's real bad. So like a sealed pool and they give you a sealed pool, you can't even like look at the whole pool. You can only look at the cards like six or eight at a time or whatever. I myself don't think the fifth card problem is too much of a, a problem. All right, Grixis yet again. So a third straight blue black deck. Unfortunately, this time they get to take our Adanta Vanguard, which would have been a great card to play next turn. Um, I don't think they'll bring Brawl to Arena, but that'd be really nice. I would like that. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm going to play Valiant Knight because if they do have Land Ritual of Soot, I don't want to play another thing out that like gets rid of Ritual of Soot because we're hitting for a lot here. Alright, Grixis. Let's do our same sideboarding. Bloodfast, Procession, Duress. Bring in all those. Cut Cast Down, Trim a Contempt, Trim Vona against Grixis because of Lava Coil, and same with Valiant Knight. Two of those, one Knight of Malice. Um, looks good to me. Opponent can't handle that curve that we had. They're playing Grixis Concede. <laughs> Any prediction about power levels of guilds next set? Um, Rakdos looks to be the best guild so far. And then maybe Ruble after that. And then I'm thinking of just the just the the guilds from the sets, not like so I'm not thinking of like Teferi as far as Azorius is concerned and so on. You know, like just the cards from the next set. It looks to be like Rakdos, then Gruul, then Um Maybe Simic? Simic or Azorius, like those two? Maybe Simic. And then I 
Orzov hasn't been looking too good. Orzov does have the Wrath, though. That's like their best card. And they have Mortify. They have some removal spells. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Simic looks good in draft, but not necessarily for constructed. That's a good point. Do you think a Racto Spectacle burn deck with electrostatic field could be viable? Potentially. We haven't seen very good burn spells necessarily, have we? I don't really think of any that come to mind. Yeah, Orzov has a great mechanic for limited with Afterlife. All the sets... Azorius looks the worst in limited. The other four all look pretty strong in limited. And that's also the no limited amount that, you know, alone. I've really seen or thought about with the limited. Oh yeah, the card art is awesome. Just the last, I mean, the last like three, four years, it's, it's been great, but it just, it does get better. The last like, you know, two years in, in particular, card art in, in magic cards is amazing. Attempts have been really good. <clears throat> we still got a couple questions our phone needs to answer. These Night of Graces. Two dreamy years, huh? No land, no land, no land. I haven't really had that thought, Malicious, that looking at some card art and thinking, how did this get approved, kind of thing, of like... No, Mason, no idea how much artists are paid for card art. No idea. I'm sure that's just between the artists and wizards. I don't think that's public information. Probably varies artist by artist, too. Artists that have been doing it for like a long time probably make more than new artists, kind of thing. No, I'm not going to be at GB Cle Cleveland, Chef Seth. Um, so let's bounce any non-land permanents. They do get to bounce Profane Procession. I think no matter which card I play here, my opponent bounces that. So I think I may as well just play the Vanguard they know about.
Yeah, Domri. I like the Domri art. I like it. Yeah, Seraphim Scales. Is that one really good? Let me, let me go find some Seraphim Scales. Yeah, Seraphim Scales are really good. Yeah, that that is awesome. I wish that was better. Wait, did they, they just chose no? Not bouncing anything? Oh, okay, that's why. Oh, the knights would have gotten a buff, but yeah, they would have just bounced it and just blocked my things. Um, so maybe we take out another knight of malice. Nah. Nah. All right, game three. We had a good hand there, a good curve. Our opponent just had <clears throat> the right cards to disrupt everything. Contempt for Vanguard, then Contempt for Ajani, then Thought Razor, our other Ajani. Was brutal. This hand's great if we draw Black Vanna. And two other lands. If we draw two lands, this hand is great. I've lived a lot of different places. I don't... Um, I guess I'm from the Dallas Metroplex, I guess. It has a ton of potential. Hey, Isa. <phone rings> Night Owl! Getting that top spot from Vladimir and EOD guy. Make Ravnica the musical. I listened to it. Thanks, Night Owl. I'm gonna keep it. Dante Vanguard's great. It's gonna win us the game. Alright, come on, swamp. Swamp, swamp, swamp. <laughs> there is no, like, there's no real DFW accent. It's a city of transplants. Come on, Swamp. I have not played Ravnica D&D. &D. Alright, they milled over two lands. It's a good surveil for them. Okay. If they have Golden Demise, I want to play Knight of Grace. So I'm going to play Knight of Grace. Because assuming they have Golden Demise, I would rather Knight of Grace die than Adanto Vanguard. Yeah, so they're likely flooded, which means that the discovery was awesome. Getting two cards off the top like that is it's a really good discovery. Oh, well. It's not Golden Demise. So now I wish I would have played Vanguard. But let's draw a land. Come on, swamp, swamp, swamp. If we get if we get to play a Johnny next turn, we are in the driver's seat. I think we win if we play a Johnny next turn. So let's get that land, let's get that swamp. They're ditching ritual of soot. Have to have a ritual set for next turn then, right? Already? No! Oh, come on. Come on, deck. Ugh. Alright. The game doesn't really get a whole lot better for us the later we go. Let's let's try to end this quickly. Why? 
Why? Can we just draw land last turn? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they can't handle enchantments, and their only their only ways to win are creatures, and Profane Procession gets rid of their creatures that win. And... Ugh. Yeah, you're way too late. Now they have Counterspell up. <laughs> they, they actually have Sinister Sabotage in their deck in this matchup in game... Like, on the draw in game three. Wow. Golden Demise. Man. Looks like we're picking up our first loss. We did beat two, two other blue-black decks consecutively, so... Um, you know, losing one isn't so bad. Still winning two out of three against them. Took to rest. Together, we are. We still need you. I'm gonna keep this planes in my hand to potentially discard. I'm gonna try to get these Danto Vanguards. It's, it's possible they don't have another Golden Demise. It's like our only hope they don't have another Golden Demise or Moment of Craving or anything like that. Oh, I mean, we just we missed our our fourth land drop there. Certainly, why we lost this game. It is good to see you, my friend. Come on back, Vanguard. Return to the fight. Yeah, their discoveries were real good, too. Surveil, you know. Surveil two cards, surveil two cards. That's nice. Boy. All right, three and one. Very well. Maybe that's just not a hand I can keep. It's so hard to mulligan a Danto and a Johnny. Maybe that's just a hand I can't keep. <laughs> nope, didn't pay 20 life. Okay. Let's try again. we at least have both of our colors. Yeah. Yeah, I should mulligan that last hand. We couldn't even cast our duress. I am playing 25 lands with the deck, so... <clears throat> you know, I'm playing a good amount of lands for aggro decks because you know I I don't really have ways to filter the draws so drawing lands is something that's beneficial I didn't play the knight of grace or the knight of malice there Let's get another knight of grace get a, these pro black creatures so they can't chupacabra me Until you have lived as a Nine statue, of Mouse will make them do, do some chump blocking. To be of pigeons. Good choice. Yeah, we're at 25 land deck. Ugh. Okay, there's one. Now just get this other land drop and we're we're still in this. I 
do not feel pain. I think my play next turn is Valiant Knight if we draw the land. An excellent choice. This Karn is killing me. Get. I just want to have duress in this matchup. If they're just going to be playing Karn and a bunch of removal, I'm sure they're just going to have a lot of planeswalkers and stuff. These honor guards come on in. I think I'm just going to duress this matchup. One blood fast. And then Valiant Knight coming on out. Yeah, that was a tough one. Our opponent had Carnage Tyrant the next the next turn, and I couldn't possibly be a Carnage Tyrant. The game's just over. Procession is okay. Um, they do have ways to deal with it, with like Vivian and stuff. That's certainly okay. Is that better than Vona? Is Procession better than Vona? Vona would be the card I'd take out for it. Um, no. It's, uh, I think it's going to be a little too slow. Here. Fan procession that is. Keeping Scotty on her guard. I could duress first to look for a cast down. I think it's better to get Honor Guard in play because I think it's more likely that they have like branch walkers and stuff like that. <laughs> they got their own duress. All right, can we please draw lands? We just had two games in a row keeping a two lander where we couldn't hit a third land drop. Or I guess we did hit third land drop once, but we couldn't hit a fourth land drop. Can we please hit a fourth land drop? We're almost there. Can we hit that fourth land drop, please? Come on, deck. Hmm. No fourth land drop. I will get moved. I'll make use of that later. <laughs> I don't really want to attack them all at Karn. I'm just going to ignore Karn. Let's attack him at, at them. A lot of damage that we're representing here. Okay. We got the got the land with thanks to Midnight Reaper. And there we go. 
Takali Arnegard shutting him down. Other Bloodfast over Avona. And a Profane Procession over Avona. No, they have Thrashing Brontodon. Oh, Profane Procession. Vona, get back in here. Do you want Valiant Knight or Vona? Vona. Right? Hmm. You know what? We're playing vanguards. We're going pedal to metal. Ugh. Getting all these two. We're getting vanguards and honor guards. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Hawkeye. Thanks, Special. Let's see what our opponent does. Nothing, huh? All right, Honor Guard, do your thing. All right, off to bed. Have a good night, Cole. All right, Johnny should do some work for us next turn. Well, now... Now I need to keep a Danto Vanguard back to protect a Johnny. We stand heal. Which I kind of wish I had Knight of Grace instead of a Danto Vanguard. Because Knight of Grace would you know, be able, still be pro-black and would be able to check Midnight Reaper and not just cost me four life. Still do have Honor Guard in play though. Um, have to be a little worried about finality. Oh, that's so good. Trophy. Okay, no finality. So they don't have anything in hand. Let's go. We're getting aggro. Next turn we can tempt this Midnight Reaper. Hit him for nine. Really? Come on. Bleh. Yeah, that... Yeah, you're playing a red green dino deck now. Do you think it'll easily convert to gruel? That sounds like... That, that will happen. Some damage in. Gotta get this attacking in. You can't just sit back. Got them down to six. Okay. You 
You should be proud to have come so far. Get Night of Grace in play. Fight again. If they draw another land, we have lethal. Of course, even with the Ajani tick up. That's it. We got there. These Adanto Vanguards. Getting there. 4 1. All we needed was our opponent to draw, like. You know, like they drew Carnage Tyrant and then three lands in a row after that. We just need them to draw three lands and then three lands in a row. We did it, chat. We did it. All right, 4 1. Let's go. Yeah, you love putting Ontario's wings on Vanguard. Ooh. Why do I always have two lands and, like, these awesome cards? Ooh, this is high-stakes poker here. Yeah, we're at, we're at final boss territory. What do y'all think of this? Should we keep or mold this? What do y'all think? I'm thinking Mulligan hasn't been working out for us too, much, too well of hitting our fourth land on the play. We haven't been doing it recently. So I think I'm going to Mulligan. Cause it, it has not been working for us. This is why we don't mulligan. Look at look at this garbage. Just keep. Okay. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah, I should listen to y'all. This game could win. Get a Johnny. Uh, sure. I'll keep Knight of Grace. We have turn two Knight, turn three History, and that's it. Can our opponent beat that? Because that's all we got. That's, that's all we got. That's a good way to beat it. That turn one land or elf. Hmm. I think a opponent's hand maybe, but their hand may be better than our five card hand. That's a little better than our five card hand. All right, let's get the honor guards in here. Duress, the blood fast, valiant knight out, knight of malice out. Um, yeah, it doesn't split, but you get to choose how you want to deal damage. We would have just dealt damage to the... If they would have double blocked, we would have dealt the damage to the land war elf. Okay, we're going to win both games post sideboard, but we do have the help of Takali Honor Guard now. Okay. Land? Not a land. Trophy Karn Contempt. It's a good hand. I want to take Contempt and Karn. I only take one. Yep, it'll do for yeah, three three we'll do three first strike. And three regular. That's that's if it has double strike, it'll do that. Yeah. Double strike does yeah, the damage twice. Yep, you got it. Yep. Got it. 
Come on, lands. That'll do. I do like them having the Assassin's Trophy when we don't have lands. That's good. Maybe they'll Assassin's Trophy this history banalia. Gives another land. I mean, a Johnny. They'll, they'll die... Like, a 3-3 three, three first strike will die to a 4-4. Four, four. It'll deal the 3 damage first. Let's do it for sanction, Sanctuary. It'll deal the 3 damage first. Um... And then, uh, and then you know, like the four toughness won't kill it. So, and then it'll deal four damage back. Yeah, a three-one first strike would kill a ten-three. Grow both of the knights, the tokens, Together, so that nothing. They can't trade branch walker one for one. They have to trade two for one. Cease this. I will lend you my strength. So they have to double block to kill one knight. I feel like if you're gonna chump block, you might as well chump block five damage coming at you instead of four damage coming at you. I'm not sure, I just kinda feel like that would make sense. Alright, so they're gonna double block this. Then I'll contempt Chupacabra. Get that thing out of here forever and get Branch Walker out of here. It's gonna be hard to finish this game off. We're gonna try though. Looks like our, we are going to be defeated by the final boss. Had some tough mulligans. I'll do it. I don't have anything that beats a 9-8 Carnage Tyrant from here. There's nothing in this deck that can beat a 9-8 Carnage Tyrant. Alright, 4-2. 4-2. That Golgari hand is, is basically as good as a hand as you can have against our deck. Um, Carnage Tyrant's difficult to beat, but Finality is really like the the problem. If you and if you play Carnage Tyrant and then Finality afterwards, it's not like my deck doesn't beat uh, Carnage Tyrant into Finality. Even if we would have had Takali Honor Guard earlier, they had you know Contempt and Assassin's Trophy also. Their hand was basically about as good as they could have. You know, and then they even had the explore creatures, Branch Walker and Jay Light to hit land drops and stuff. And the Karn I had to get rid of. Their hand doesn't get any better in this matchup. So it's it's not necessarily the best matchup for us. I you I have a pretty good winning percentage against it, but I can't possibly beat hands like that. Okay, so four two. We lost to the final boss. But Still, I think a pr pretty impressive showing for our deck. Um, we didn't get to Bounty Agent and hey, Doom Whisper. All right, we didn't get to really uh, um, see Valiant Knight in action too much. Our matchups were kind of ones where we were taking it out, um, which may be kind of uh, common in this 
this uh, deck, but yeah, still a fun deck to play. Why does a swamp not count as a black permanent for white knight? All every land is counted as a colorless permanent, so all lands are just colorless. Yep. So every single land. But yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, um, you want to play a sweet aggro deck, check out Orzov Knights. This is a fun deck. And of course, thanks for watching there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube so you can follow along for all the other videos and check out the replays there. I really would appreciate it. So thank you.